guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, taking a look at the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. The cool thing about this phone is that it's so thin and light, it's ridiculously light. Uh, it's got this nice arc on the back. It's got what they call a reality display, uh, which means it uses the Bravia engine uh, to sort of make the screen look better, although looking at it right now, it does look quite clear and crisp. It's not blowing my mind. Um, so let's kind of bounce around here and, and take a look. It's interesting that they put the um, almost like uh, mirror image of these buttons up here on the screen, but I'm sure they do different things, and they do. Oh, that's kind of cool animation. allows you to move around icons. Let's dive into the browser and see what we've got here. This device is just so thin and light, we're not going to get any service on this. It also comes in this darker color here, and uh, it's kind of slick. Let's see what version of Android we're dealing with here. They still have remnants of the Timescape Mediascape interface, but it's a, a lot lighter than it used to be. Not having luck finding it there, maybe I can go from over that's, here. That's progress right here. So go to settings, about phone, Android 2.3. So this is running gingerbread, as you can tell by the top battery bar here. So overall, pretty cool device. Uh, the big story here is how thin and light it is. The screen, eh. It doesn't look as incredible as they'd make you think. And there's some of those 3D, really fancy animations that Sony Ericsson brought to the table with the X10. Uh, if you remember that, multi-touch, pinch to zoom. Actually, it is quite crisp and clear. There should be a setting um, for the Bravia engine. Let's see if we can get to it here. Uh, if we go over here to display. Here it is, Bravia engine. Okay, so it was turned on. Now it's off, now it's on. Uh, I cannot tell the difference. So maybe I need to learn a little bit more about what they've done here. So this is the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. Super light and very, 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 very thin Android smartphone. That's it for now.